Guys, Elon made history again. Earlier this year, on the 22nd of March, Tesla announced its Berlin Gigafactory, its first on European soil, and the fourth Gigafactory overall. And with a fifth on its way in Texas, I can't help but wonder, is there nothing this man can't achieve? But we all know that when Elon wants something, he makes it happen, no matter the odds. In this video, I'll show you a closer look inside Tesla's first European Gigafactory, the Giga Berlin layout. The layout of Giga Berlin is simple to understand. Raw materials come in from one side of the factory, and finished cars come out of the other. Yet, it is extremely advanced in its design and flow. Roaming the floor of the Giga factory, you can really see why Elon keeps repeating that the factory is the actual product. The immense feat of engineering is laid out in front of you, all optimized to churn out 500,000 cars every year. The production process begins with aluminum casting that creates the basic blocks of the cars. This is where Tesla employs the Giga Presses, a behemoth of a machine that die casts aluminum to create the main chassis elements of the cars. This is one of the most innovative features of all Tesla Gigafactories, as it replaces the age-old tradition of bolting hundreds of components together to form the chassis. Instead, due to the Giga presses, Tesla only has to deal with three major chassis components, the front and rear structures, and the car bed that houses the battery pack. This makes production extremely efficient, safe, and fast. Giga Berlin has eight of these massive machines. We then move on to stamping, where the the various shapes of the car body, for example the doors, hoods, and the roll cages are stamped out of massive sheets of aluminum. These massive stamping machines are expected to speed up the production of the Model Y, which will be the main output of Giga Berlin, by a staggering 30% over previous models. On a side note, this process of die casting and stamping out parts are integral to Tesla's promise of eventually being able to manufacture a car for just under $25,000. Wouldn't that be something? Sign me up for it right away. Moving on, the next step in the assembly process inside Giga Berlin involves an impressive line of giant robot hands that undertake a variety of functions in putting the cars together. Tesla first started using these German-made KUKA robot workers in 2017 in its Fremont factory. The robots at Giga Berlin have come a long way since then. They can now take the chassis components from the Giga presses and the stamped out parts from the stamping machines to create an entire Model Y shell without any human intervention at all. As the unfinished shells move along the assembly line, each station has an arm with a different function. By the time it completes this process of assembly, you will be able to recognize the car within. The front and rear crash structures would have been bolted on, the battery pack mounted, the drivetrains installed, and the doors and roofs fitted to form a car body. And all of this is done with absolute precision, without involving a single human hand. Watching these giant arms work in perfect unison, drilling holes, bolting screws, and welding pieces together has got to be the most satisfying since inside Giga Berlin. The next phase is where humans come into the picture. This is where most of the 12,000 workers inside the factory would be employed. They will work in teams, round the clock, routing all the wirings, connecting the various components together, and mounting all the various panels and parts. They also finish the interiors here and configure the software that will be the brains behind the car. In a way, after the machines have done their jobs, these mechanics will be responsible for building the car from the inside out, inspecting the cars thoroughly, and sending them on their way to the logistics side of the factory, where massive containers will be waiting to ship them all over the world. Of course, this is a very simplified explanation of what's inside the Giga Berlin production line. There are various other technical steps along the way that are critical to the whole process. But I hope this gave you a sense of the scale and processes involved inside Giga Berlin and the making of a Tesla car. How and why Giga Berlin was built? Located in the southeast suburbs of Berlin on the banks of the River Spree, the Berlin-Brandenburg Gigafactory, more commonly referred to as Giga Berlin, stretches over a massive 1.2 square miles of cleared forest. Its construction required deforesting over 900 hectares of the Grunheide Forest, and because of that, the project has attracted a lot of ire from the environmental groups of the region, which was one of the reasons behind the lack of permits. Elon has always claimed that the environmental offset of cutting down those trees pales in comparison to the benefit that Giga Berlin will deliver to the region and the world as a whole. However, Tesla's lawyers had to jump through quite a few hoops to realize his European Gigafactory dream. Anyways, the factory is a short 20-minute drive from the Berlin-Brandenburg airport along the 810 motorway. This is great for connectivity purposes. Tesla chose this site for precisely that reason. The A10, also known as the Berliner Ring, will be the main road connection for the 12,000 odd employees that Giga Berlin plans to hire in the coming months. Although a lot of construction is still going on, as the factory is slated to become fully operational by the end of 2022, the scale of it all was immense. You can really get lost in the complex if you don't have a tour guide with you. 
Elon first announced the idea of Giga Berlin in 2019, exactly a year after a long-term lease was signed for its Shanghai Gigafactory. Giga Shanghai started production in late 2019 and was primarily responsible for meeting Tesla's demands in the European and Southeast Asian markets. But when production kicks off at Giga Berlin, it will be the main supplier of Tesla's Model Y to these markets, and the Shanghai factory will focus on producing other models. Giga Shanghai acted as a testbed for a lot of production technologies and processes for Tesla, which are now implemented and perfected in Giga Berlin. It was the first Giga factory to take full advantage of artificial intelligence and machine learning in its assembly line robots, increasing their efficiency over time. This, along with other production flow optimizations, allowed Giga Shanghai to increase its production rate of 1,000 cars per week in early 2020 to 8,000 vehicles per week by the end of that year. These learnings were crucial for Tesla as it sought to make Giga Berlin more than just a factory. Other than the impressive production line, Giga Berlin is also designed to be the world's largest battery production plant as well. Elon announced that the factory will have a capacity of up to 100 gigawatt hours, with plans of increasing it to 200 to 250 gigawatt hours in the coming years. To put this into perspective, a plant with an annual capacity of 100 gigawatt hours alone could produce enough batteries for 1.3 million Model Y vehicles, which has a 75 kilowatt hour battery. It is staggering to think about Giga Berlin's overall production capacity when it comes to batteries and cars, and it does all this in the most sustainable way possible. When finished, the roof of the factory will be completely covered in solar panels that will generate enough electricity to power the whole facility and then some. Aluminum scraps from the stamping process will be recycled as raw materials for the Giga presses. All the water used inside the factory will be recycled and reused. Even the rainwater that falls on the property will be harvested and stored to provide drinking water for the employees. That's not the end of it. Even the complex machines inside the factory are specially designed to harness the heat generated by them to provide heating during the winter months. Elon has also promised that Giga Berlin would give back to the community by hiring from it exclusively and establishing a training school for high-tech jobs of the future. So everyone seems to be happy with the project, and the German media, as well as the world, is already going gaga over Giga. The Imminent Germany EV Wars with this giant factory, Elon was declaring war on the car establishment in Germany. The country's car-making trio, Volkswagen, which includes Porsche and Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz, must really be feeling the pressure. Especially after Volkswagen's Dieselgate scandal of 2020, which has frayed their relationship with the German public and the government. I think Elon and Tesla have grabbed that opportunity with both hands and stamped their authority on the European EV market once and for all. Tesla's superior technology when it comes to the production of its cars, combined with its cutting-edge developments in the field of batteries and self-driving systems, gives it the upper hand in the sector. The old German car manufacturers are still stuck at basic assembly lines devoid of high-tech automation. In fact, the launch of Giga Berlin has finally brought some of them out of their slumber. Following Tesla's suit, Volkswagen announced plans for its $2 billion Trinity factory for the production of their production Trinity electric vehicle. Inspired by Giga Berlin, Volkswagen CEO Ralf Brandstatter has also taken up the challenge of becoming carbon neutral with this new plant that is slated to be completed by 2026. But to be honest, who knows how much of the European EV market Tesla would have occupied as Giga Berlin would have already churned out hundreds of thousands of cars by then. If you enjoyed this video, click the video on the screen and I'll see you there.